um, works um, with asterisk. In the end, asterisk is still the brains, right? Nothing has changed. This is all this code here is really just a channel to asterisk. In asterisk dial plan, you still do dial. Now instead of zap, you say dial Woomera, group number one, two, three, four, five, and call gets placed. So from the from the user's perspective, really, they don't see any of this, which is good for them. <laughs> uh, they don't want to see it. Um, so you know, incoming call comes comes in on the D channel, of course, and um, you know now regardless, this is you know at this point. Uh, Signaling, signaling. You know, you, you, here's a call on this span and this chan. Open up a media and do whatever you want with it. So in this case, in SS7 mode, you get a. Where's my mouse? There it is. Incoming call comes up the red line here, goes into the SS7 stack, and the SS7 stack tells me, hey, you have an incoming call on span one, chan one. At this point, the call goes through the Woomera and gets passed to asterisk. And asterisk dial plan says, oh, incoming call. What do you want to do with it? Well, it says, I want to pass it to SIP. Where's my mouse? <laughs> yes. And uh, the call goes through SIP on the internet, and you get an invite back and say, OK, the call is placed. And um, you know, Asterix says the same thing, answer the call. And at this point, the media gateway grabs the channel, the voice channel, and sends it over UDP to Asterisk. And at this point, Asterix has its voice stream, and you start doing whatever you want with it. You pass it through to SIP, or you know, or if you didn't want to pass it to SIP, you just want a TDM to TDM, your asterisk turns around and makes a call back into here, into SS7, and places two bridge, two, two legs. And you, you know, you can make a TDM to TDM call here. Now, all of a sudden, we have actually separated, like at this point, this is IP. Even at this point, this is also IP, because, um, um, the whole point of SS7 is that you can have one SS7 server handling thousands of media. So it would be wrong for me to literally bind you know, an SS7 stack to the media gateway. It just doesn't make sense. So as you can see, since all these are not hard linked modules, one can now put this in one server. You can put this in one server. And then you can have another server right here So for, for a signaling. So we're able to actually split TDM from asterisk and um, and uh, being able to actually push it. It, it opens up the whole uh, bunch of uh, new uh, ideas because, um, again, object-oriented telephony, that's what I call it, is that I can have now objects debugged once, tested once, and um, you know, and, and stability of asterisk drastically improves as the new hardware comes online or if, if I want to add like a new new stack here. You know, this, this piece of code has never changed. And even better is I cannot crash asterisk. I cannot crash due to my mistake. You know, and that's a big problem with... <laughs> you, you can't because it, this it, right here is it's a software it's a it's a it's a socket, so I you know it, it's it's one of those things. If I'm designing an asterisk system, you know, and and I want it to be a media gateway, um, and I don't want you know I want the mod channels to be super debugged, tested, you know, and uh, it, and when usually problems is that just like in Windows, you know, what crashes Windows is the driver, not the actual core. Well, that can be debated. Um, Object-oriented telephony. So uh, each piece is well-defined, reuse of debug modules. We're, uh, you know, Sangoma is particularly we're a small company, and we, we don't have 100 developers, and we have to be fanatically object-oriented in the sense that we do one thing and, and uh, once, and that's it. Um, so reduces bugs, increases stability. And increases asterisk stability, which is very important to us, because you know our customers are running 500 call systems, you know, on a single machine, without any issues. Weeks, no rebooting asterisk. So anybody tells you the asterisk doesn't work for high load, it's not true. Um, so what does it look like in a um, little prettier diagrams here? Um, this is our architecture. This is um, um, a TDM is a green, and uh, we have a, on. Stacks are on the red side. The Umura server is the uh, the the, the uh, gray, right? Um, so at this point, uh, Asterix talks Umura to us, TDM, and also Asterix can talk Umura on the uh, 
uh, other side, which is uh, Craig, for example. So Craig Sutherland, Opal, SIP stack, and HD33. So this is a solution, for example, for Asterix HD33. If Asterix really wants you know, a stable, debugged H323 solution, one can use Asterix with the Woomera to talk HD338. This has nothing to do with the TDM anymore. So, uh, and Craig and I have been able to develop in, in parallel, you know, and without talking to each other, we just standardized on, the, on what protocol we're going to talk to Asterisk. Um, so this is, a, for example, an SS7 clustered solution, where a SS7 box sits in the middle, and um, it places calls. You know, 100 calls go here, 100 calls go here, and then all the calls can go to asterisk. Right? So this is a, the solution that we actually have right now, where you know we're very excited about. Um, another solution is the. Um, Asterix talking to multiple uh, VoIP protocols aside from the TDM. So this is again um, um, possibilities around this. We can we can attach any stack out there to uh, Asterisk if we just wrote this little piece of code, and we only only have to write it once. So um, any open all those open VoIP stacks that are sitting there that somebody you know doesn't know how to write asterisks or doesn't can't go into the channel driver because it's quite complicated to do it. You can write your own little server uh, very very easily and attach the asterisk. Um, of course, all this is op open source. So um, now this is a really cool one: the uh, auto asterisk load balancing and scaling. The, the native, the, the property of the Woomera server is that it's a server, really. So you can actually have multiple clients connect to it and say, hi, Asterisk goes, it comes to our server and says, hi, I'm a client. I'm ready to accept calls. And say, okay. So we start passing him calls. And then another Asterisk can, can connect to the server and says, I'm also a client. I want to connect, also get calls. And the ser Woomera server will automatically load balance calls to each Asterisk box. Now, a really cool thing about it is that one asterisk box goes down, you have the other one still running. Now, configuration to do all this is less than one line. Because um, you just tell asterisk, where's the server? If you're running this all on the same machine, you, you tell this guy that this IP address is on local, local dot 9001. You know, if, if you want to make this a dual server architecture, you tell this IP address is you know, 192.168 whatever it is uh, where the server is. And you just point them to this thing and it just runs. Now this monstrosity here. <laughs> okay, so this is the, 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 I guess the holy grail is don't drop a call, right? And um, that we can actually have a single asterisk box can talk to two Woomera servers at the same time without any issues, as well as two asterisk boxes can talk to a single uh, uh, server. So at this point the calls, uh, and SS7, of course, can be clustered together. Um, uh, so uh, if one SS7 link goes down, the other one keeps going. Um, so at this point, um, everything is, is uh, backed up. Everything has a backup of its own. Um, and the um, calls can go up through here, up to one asterisk box, or through here, through another asterisk box. You know, so if each, each piece, if any of the pieces go down, there is a backup for it. Um, so look what we have done. We have not asked Asterisk to do 500 calls. We have not asked a single Asterisk box to do 1,000 calls. We have asked one Asterisk box, please do your up to 200 calls. You know? And that's why I have a confidence in the system, because I know Asterisk does, works very, very well for that number of calls. You know? and, um, and of course, on the SIP side, well, it's all open, right? You can open open Sir, or we know all the SIP. Um, you know, the techniques of the um, clustering SIP. So um, it's, you know, that's kind of, you know, the whole point of wh what we're trying to uh, use asterisk for what's good at, and um, it'll work well for you. Where are we? Okay, so how much I have, like, maybe 10 more minutes left. Um, I have, like, we have some pretty cool... Um, um, ideas here also. We have a little RTP tab. I was going to maybe talk about it if uh, we have time um, uh, for Asterix voice recording. Um, and um, it's uh, what it does, it, um, it can pull all the channels of voice uh, on the side 